On a clear blue day, there's plenty of activity on far north Queensland's coastal waters. But beneath the surface, it's a different story. What should look like this has been reduced to a muddy wasteland at Marillion Harbour near Cairns, with seagrass meadows wiped out by cyclones and floods. After Cyclone Yazzie, they, they, they just haven't come back at all. So it's been over a decade that these, these, this type of seagrass meadow has disappeared. Seagrass acts like the kidneys of the Great Barrier Reef. The plants filter water, prevent coastal erosion and provide a home for marine creatures. They're also tricky to grow, so researchers have been harvesting the plants from an inlet in Cairns, processing them in a laboratory and driving them south. They're tying seagrass shoots to biodegradable mesh frames, then dropping them from tinnies into the water. They had to come up with innovative ways to plant the shoots, given the dangers that lurk nearby. We've got crocodiles out here and stingers, and uh, um, so, so we can't go swimming around and planting the stuff in the water. Volunteers and Indigenous rangers have also lent a hand, keen to see marine creatures return to the area. It provides a, a safe haven for turtles and dugons. You know, when it gets rough weather out there, and they need a place to rest. They come to these places here. This is the first mass seagrass planting of its kind in the tropics. If successful, researchers hope to extend the project up the far north Queensland coast. Restoring the forgotten forests in our ocean. Christy Sexton McGrath, ABC News, Marillion.